Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. And it's way past time that we do the manly edition of Friday's Finds. We're going to get dirty and grubby. Sweaty, smelly, and stinky. We have a returning video sponsor. Do you remember when I tore apart the whole front end of the F-150 and put in the, the, the new bulbs? They were from Oxito. Well, Oxito had reached out to me and they said, Hey, now that you got bright headlights, people need to see your license plate better. And so they sent us... Sent us some license plate, LED license plate lights for the F-150. Ooh. And if we compare them, this is what, this is OEM. So they look pretty much the same except there's a, a bulb in there. And I gotta figure out that. So let me figure that out and I'll be back. It took me a little bit, but I figured it out. All right, I'll show you what, what the trick is here. So this, this is your halogen bulb that plugs in there. I found that it works best if you have a little something to get behind it and kind of push it out. And of course that fits into here. So the new LED actually just flips, plugs into that. Well, I thought I figured it out. There we go. So there's a wide, a wide one that goes in the wide hole, just like that. And then I plug that back in under the truck. So up, what I'm going to do is install one, and then tonight we'll do a, a light up test and see which one's mo better. So you got to stay tuned to the end. So also asked me to share with you. If you need to recover the armrest of your F-150, which mine's in good shape, but if you want to recover, they have a, a, a synthetic leather product that is contoured to go on there. Now, I'm not even going to attempt to... <laughs> I'm not going to attempt it. But we're going to move on to our next product or products. There's going to be several that make up one. Part of that's not here, but we're going to start off with a look-see at what the main component. We won't be able to see it in operation until a couple days from now, but I've got to assemble all of this beforehand. So you get to take a look at... We're going to do the unbox. <laughs> as Tim Allen used to do. <laughs> Suitable for lifting. Heavy duty series. is a 2,000 pound winch. I don't even know what the brand is. Ah, there we go. The brand is Rug Cell. The ATV UTV Winch. Now, I don't have an ATV or a UTV, but I do have a pickup. Check that out. So it's got your cable rolling already included. 
Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? We have our remote control. It's a small one. It's not huge. It's an ATV UTV winch. We have our hook. We have some bolts. That connects there. All right. Let me do some of some assembly required part and I'll be back. Man, what a difference that light makes. Look at this. Uh, so th this is the new LED. That's that's the OEM light. Man, what a difference that makes! Just imagine how bright that's going to be when I put in the other LED. Right. Yes, indeed. So, tomorrow night, I'll have both of them replaced, and we'll see how how really bright that is. But I can already tell you, it's gonna be bright. And here we are with <laughs> both of those lights. Man, look how bright they are! Wow. They're like super bright. Almost need brighter tail lights now. Let's take a look at the Extreme Max Products ATV winch mount. Which end is open? Earthquake. Nothing real fancy here. Really like the, the gray powder coat on it. Good solid welds. What we need to do now is mount a winch. We have it mounted. The 2,000 pound rug cell winch is mounted. We put it in. We pull it out. Really liking the, the simplicity. Happen. The Extreme Max product winch mount worked out great. I'm very happy with that setup. It's, it's nice and compact. Yeah, now we gotta go move some stuff. We got another box. This one showed up just in time before I left. All right, let's cut it open. See what's inside. I think I know what this is. I'm pretty certain I know what this is. Cause you see, I gotta remove some trees. So this guy here just in time. That would be a chainsaw. Instruction manual, oil, fuel oil mixing container, toolkit, gloves, funnel, the chain saw itself. Twenty inch bar. Let me do some assembly. Some assembly required. And then we'll take a look at it. I have the chainsaw assembled. 
let's get her started. <coughs> now I did start it before, so it's kind of warmed up. I'm no chainsaw professional. I've used a chainsaw quite a bit in my, my life. But I gotta tell you, for the money, that's a heck of a deal right there. That bad boy gets up and goes. Very, very happy with that. Of course, as with, with all the Friday's finds, there'll be a link in the card and a link in the description, and that will take you to the Dude RV Gear Recommendations Amazon page and it'll be on the shopping list for Friday's finds. All right. I gotta go back to work. I gotta put a, I got a building coming that's going in there. Oh, and that little winch. 
it works pretty good. Uh, I was hoping I'd be able to pull some of these Yopon holly bushes out of the ground, but it's not quite strong enough for that. Got to have a tractor. All right. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV and your, your first experience with Friday's finds, I do this on just about every Friday. If you like product reviews, this is the manly edition of Friday's finds where we're working with the rent, the winch, the chainsaw, the winch plate, several products. They're all from Amazon. So click on that link and see if it fits your lifestyle. If you've been following along, thank you. I am most honored. I appreciate you. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for my patrons, you guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?